Hi. As required by international accounting standards, IAS 39, banks were making impairment provisions for loans and advances based on incurred loss model until 2017. However, effective from 2018, International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS 9, requires banks to make impairment provisions for loans and advances based on expected loss model. Also, Basel Guidelines requires banks to provide for expected credit loss. But, IFRS 9, and, Basel guidelines differ, in many aspects, but principally in two aspects, probability of default model, and measurement of time in order to compute probability of default. Basel guidelines require banks to estimate probability of default for 12-month period. On the other hand, IFRS 9 has concept of lifetime probability of default, in addition to 12-month probability of default. According to IFRS 9, assets are classified into three stages. Stage 1 assets include assets that have not had a significant increase in credit risk since initial recognition. In other words, we can term these assets as performing assets. For Stage 1 assets, 12-month expected credit losses are recognized. Stage 2 assets include assets that have had a significant increase in credit risk since initial recognition, but, that do not have objective evidence of impairment. In other words, we can term these assets as underperforming assets. Stage 3 assets include assets that have objective evidence of impairment at the reporting date. In other words, we can term these assets as non-performing assets. For Stage 2 assets, and Stage 3 assets, lifetime expected credit losses are recognized. 12-month expected credit losses used for meeting requirement of Basel guidelines are normally based on through the cycle probabilities of default. On the other hand, IFRS 9 uses point-in-time probabilities, that is, probability at the reporting date.